Milwaukee police, they are looking for a man and they're asking for your help. He is charged with shooting and killing his ex-girlfriend last week and then setting his house on fire. Fox 6's Bill Miston joins us live. Bill, that's not the only thing prosecutors say he did. That's right. 47-year-old Ernest Terrell Blackney it, uh, was out on bond, actually, at the time, awaiting sentencing after he pleaded guilty earlier this month to raping a 13-year-old back in 2020. Prosecutors say after he set fire to his home here in Nash Park, he later set another fire about 10 minutes drive to the north, ditched his ex-girlfriend's car in a northwest side field, and later held up a construction worker at gunpoint, forced him into a trailer, and then took off in his car. Balloons and flowers outside the charred home where Nikia Rogers was found last Thursday morning. She was moving out, breaking up with her boyfriend. A friend said he last heard from Rogers the night before. At around 4.30, the same time Milwaukee police and fire were called to that house for a fire, that friend got a message from Roger's phone. You should have left her alone. Then another. She dead. About 20 minutes later, another fire near 76th and Florist. Trucks and semi-trailers on fire. Those trailers and home are 47-year-old Ernest Terrell Blackney's, Roger's ex-boyfriend. He's now charged with killing her trying to mutilate her body, bail jumping, and other charges. A witness told police Blackney showed up to his house early Thursday morning. Blackney told them, she made me do it. I shot her because she was moving out and seeing another man. For several hours, the person said they tried to get Blackney to turn himself in, but he slipped out of the house that afternoon. Police found tire tracks near 96th and Allen leading into this field. 100 yards in was Roger's SUV. But prosecutors say Blackney didn't wait long or go far to find another ride. A worker was repairing a bulldozer at a nearby construction site when Blackney forced him at gunpoint into a trailer and locked him inside, driving off in the worker's truck. The man wasn't hurt. He forced open the door and ran for help. And now police are looking for your help. If you know where Blackney is, you're asked to give Milwaukee police a call. I did call Nakia Rogers' mother, and she tells me that she's at a loss for words, that she's torn, heartbroken, and can't understand why someone would do this to her daughter.